Hi, Chad here with Purple Color Life. Today's video is about premium firewood. And when I say premium firewood, I'm giving you my definition of what premium firewood is. I see a lot of firewood for sale right now that's advertised as premium firewood. Um, I don't sell any firewoods. So please, if I'm totally off course on this, leave a comment down below. Tell me what I'm thinking wrong about. But my opinion on premium firewood is it has to have both form and function. Now let me show you some wood that is not premium firewood. So here's an example of a piece that I would not consider premium firewood. First of all, the outside is pithy. The outside just kind of peels off there. Secondly, it was a knot in the tree. Um, so even though this is nice and dry and it's nice cherry wood, uh, it does have this weird shape, this knot and pithiness to it. So I would not consider this premium firewood. If I were buying a bundled bag of premium firewood and this were in it, I would not consider this premium. Here's some other examples of firewood I would not consider premium. Now, there's nothing wrong with this wood. It is dry, it is seasoned, it is nice Pennsylvania hardwood. Downside is it has some leaves on it, it's still got the bark on it, and it's way too short. Normally, firewood people like to be about 16 inches. This is obviously shorter than 16 inches. So again, if you opened up your premium bag of bundled firewood and found these pieces inside, you would think you kind of got shorted a little bit. I would not consider these premium. So here's some good examples of what I think would be considered premium firewood. Again, I believe it has to have form and function. Let's take this one for example. This piece of firewood is nice and squared off. It's a good size, but not huge. Um, it's under four inches on each side except for this one. This side has no bark, it's clearly seasoned. You can tell this firewood is nice and dry. You can test it with a meter and see it's below 18%. So to me, form and function for premium firewood is size, the quality of the split, the moisture content has to be below 18, preferably below 15. So I'd consider this piece of premium firewood it is Pennsylvania hardwood even though this piece is not absolutely perfect there's a little bit of um, a knot here in it I would still consider this premium firewood it's the right size it's seasoned properly it's a nice clean split here's another piece I would consider premium firewood again squared off I think the squared off wood gives a nice impression it's properly seasoned Another nice piece of squared off firewood. So like I said, I don't sell firewood. I've actually been a firewood consumer a couple times the last few years because we ran out of firewood that was properly seasoned. But when I think about premium firewood that I see advertised and who uses premium firewood, in my mind, premium firewood is the best of the best. It's nice clean cuts, nice pieces of wood, properly seasoned, both form and function. And who uses premium firewood? Well, if you watch In the Wood Yard or Ohio Woodburner, you'll see guys who split and cut firewood, not only for people who are buying a quart at a time, but also for people who are buying premium firewood. That could be the restaurants that are using firewood to cook the food. That could be people who are camping or entertaining and have a nice fireplace in their home and want really nice looking firewood to be stacked beside the fire and then put in the fire. So again, premium firewood to me means form and function, has to be seasoned properly, has to be good, preferably hardwood, has to be split properly, properly sized, and look nice. Obviously this, not premium firewood. Small, pithy outside. So this camouflage tarp has worked out great. Other than, 
I have to keep coming out and moving this front section to let the sun in there. We're expected to get, we're supposed to get more snow the next few days. So I'm gonna leave it pulled down. That allows me to put this board on the bottom. Keep the wind from blowing it. Push it right up against the pile there. And then I've got a couple pieces that I put up here on top. Keep it from blowing. And it at least keeps this section nice and dry along with that back row. If I had one more, I could cover up this section. So I'd love to know your thoughts on what constitutes premium firewood, how it's sold. To me, premium firewood is sold in smaller amounts usually. Now I understand if you're supplying a restaurant chain, you're probably gonna sell that in, in cords of wood. But typically, I think premium firewood is probably sold by the bag or small bundle. And again, I think it has to have four-man function, has to be good quality wood, has to be seasoned, appropriate size, split to a nice size, no more than three to four inches on each side. I think the square ones look the best, has to look appealing if it were stacked beside someone's fireplace in a nice home, and it has to be firewood that burns nice. So again, if you think I'm way off base, leave that comment down below. Leave your thoughts on what is premium firewood, who buys premium firewood, and uh, why we're seeing so many people advertise premium firewood with wood that I don't really think is premium. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up if this video entertained or informed you in any way. If you're not already a subscriber and would like to see more videos about rural living here in Northwest Pennsylvania, tractors, firewood, log splitters, chainsaw, um, and everything we do, plowing snow right now, mainly is the thing that we're taking care of. If you're interested in videos like that, it doesn't cost a penny. Just click that little subscribe button and then the bell beside it so that you get notified when we put out new videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again the next time.